that was sorry seriously sorry about this I feel like I'm the only one in the world that can't get my act together with this technology yeah because I rebooted the computer and then it wouldn't see the iPad or the phone so I had to unplug things try things then I had uh, I've um, I put the bracelet in the the kiln and forgot about it this whole time I just pulled it out so I've overfired it so yes my deepest apologies about this but hopefully moving forward when I get my new laptop whenever that arrives I'm going to update everything uh, it really probably is this clunky very very old computer so that's what I'm hoping hoping there's the hoping so yes anyway we're going to continue along and i guess quite honestly if it freezes again maybe we'll just have to call it because that's frustrating for everyone and again my apologies so blah 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 the kiln i just pulled it out of the kiln you didn't need to see it, it wasn't that exciting oh we've already looked at the wonderful red maybe the red it overstimulated itself with this red so again you know, it is what it is. And I think maybe I had too many things up. I had like three cameras and a pop-up, you know, maybe that was it. Just couldn't handle all that, that stuff. So let us take a moment and get, let's get a little closer in on this. How's that? Except now I can't even see. I'm literally like the camera. I guess I could see like this, but I'm going to adjust up a little bit and then zoom in. There we are. So while that is drying, we're going to get a layer on here and, you know, just take it, take it one step at a time. Again, if we freeze again, we'll probably just call it a day. My apologies for that. So, you know, I need a attack I need an, an AV department stat AV do they do AV is that even a thing anymore so with this let's we're gonna end with that orange nope we're gonna start with that orange let's get a little cup and this is 112 coral red And I'm not going to do very much at all. Well, actually, I might do a little bit because I'm going to do those earrings. So, I mean, we don't have very much, but let's do that. And yeah, I was like, I was sitting still and I thought I'd frozen, but then I saw my fingers moving. So I'm getting twitchy, twitchy. All right. Let's just... This beautifully ground color and put that back on moving 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 and we've got that's our yeah that's still pretty clean let's go ahead and do a little mini wash this I hope it's the computer um, because I've, I'm out of options unless I'm going to get my own Wi-Fi line, which I really don't want to have to pay for. There we go. 
we go. That looks perfect. We've got that. Let's go ahead and just get a little coat. Got our orange. We'll start with that. Let me I'll play with this. I'm gonna take mine. I'm gonna have some, you know, at, I'm gonna have some alone time in the a board. I'm at some really boring hotel at near ECU. So I was thinking I would take that opportunity to maybe reinstall some things, you know, because I'm not getting my new laptop for two weeks. So maybe it's worth fussing with this one. Although now I'm like, well, I still need it for my presentation, so maybe not. I don't want to, on average, you know, I probably get the blue screen on this computer or some sort of terrible error message, you know, about three times a day. Yesterday I got one that was like, it really doesn't like Premiere. And you know, nobody, no computer loves Premiere, uh, Adobe Premiere. But every time I go into Premiere now, I have to hit this. It's kind of like, it actually works just fine, sort of. Um, but I have to literally be like, it's like, this isn't going to work with whatever, um, you know, NVIDIA, blah, blah, blah. Do you still want to continue? And so there's like this big X, you know, thing that says, you know, I've agreed that it's unstable. So, but it's, so am I. So that is good. Yes. So yeah, we're just fooling around with getting these earrings on low stakes low stakes so yes and i did also turn off the thing that shows me how many people are watching i can still see the chat but i can't see if anyone is actually watching so again if i repeat myself if we freeze up again we're just going to call it for the day so my apologies in case that happens so Just gonna get this little guy. Just gentle little green. These are gonna be so cute. I wonder if I can get these finished and wear them this weekend. That would be cute. That would be nice. And a little bit of the 737. Be good. I guess I could zoom in. Can we zoom in? A little bit of this. Just get that blue. We'll do those little dark dots last. And as far as the blue goes, I think we've got, oh yes, let's just remember that forget-me-not blue just right on 
in the corner. Little edges, it's real pretty. Oh, you know, maybe a little light. I'm like, why does everything seem so dark? Because the light is bent over there. Where's my other? Oh, I'm like, the light is attached to the camera. Never mind. There we go. Watching. Wait, what is it? Oh, watching. Good. There we go. Just a little blue. A little bit of blue. Nope, this 546 blue would be pretty. bit of that. Get this little blue. Gathering. There we go. And then our dark green, just a little bit. little guy we'll see how this orange turns out yeah everyone's bought it and it's probably going to end up like you know. oh hold on i made a mess i know that definitely that ear that the bracelet's definitely cool by now but i'm just like wanting to finish this so you know Chuck. One more tiny little dot right in there. Oh, there we go. So 
we'll go ahead and go put these under the lamp to dry. Look how pretty those are going to be. And let's go snag. We have one more coating of the first coat for the bracelet. Let me go get that. Um, be right back. Hang out like that. We good? Yes. There we go. Now, look how close. Let's get these out of the way. We don't need these. Doop, 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 boop, 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 boop. We do want that. Ooh, it's rolling away. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, it probably because let me zoom out a little bit so you can see we just have this last little bit here and our last we got a little bit of yellowing here I don't care about that and some flex because I use the other stuff we just have this little bit here and here I know it doesn't look I know it looks you have to kind of get your head right about it's not going to look great in the middle of this process and you shouldn't fret about it so Last little, let me get the correct one of these. Like this. Kind of tilt it up a little bit. Yeah, and the other thing I'm thinking is maybe the three cameras, the pop-up, you know, graphic thing. It's not, doesn't seem like that much, but maybe my whatever card, whatever they're called in the computer, just can't handle it because it's it does sound like a lawnmower right now, my computer. Or no, it's a jet engine taking off is more what it sounds like. So let's just start over here. Wow, hold on, let's get the right, the correct water. Here we are. Speaking of a jet engine taking off, there's one right now. And you can see how translucent this black is, it's very blue, which I like, it's very cool. And has kind of a, and I'm overlapping just a little bit, you know. There we go. It's a big blob. Don't need that anymore. So we've got. Oh yeah, let me, you know, let me get that little spare spot right there. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more. Right like that. And now our last little sifting, well, not, not the last sifting because we're going to sift over the foil, but the last little bit. Let me get a little bit more of this. There. And
I'm gonna let me lift up just a little bit so I can get under there. There we go. It's hard to see because it's clear. There we go. So we're gonna go put this under the lamp and let's go put those earrings in the kiln. Does that sound like a good idea? I'm gonna switch over to the kiln cam. Hopefully that won't kill us. Just the kiln cam only. There we go. Oh crap, I was going to... That orange. I know, I'm, I'm not... That orange, remember we had done a lower temperature? We're not doing that, so let's see what happens with this orange at this slightly remember we did 1400 which is was seven i can't remember what the, the celsius is if 1437 76 say 1750 something like that um so i could turn the kiln down but i don't want to slow down our process our progress with the bracelet so we're just going to See what happens. You know, it's a good test. If it turns black, we know that 1430 isn't ideal for this orange because I bet it's going to be very sensitive to heat. So I'll probably pull it out as early as I possibly can. That is the plan. So are we still, we're still good. Oh, sorry. I'm like, oh, are we still on there? And let's see like me blocking the thing. It's brilliant, just brilliant. So that's going to hang out like that. I'm going to grab a water. It's thirsty work. Oh, I only have one. There we go. So I'm going to kind of babysit it a little bit and pull it out, you know, a little bit under just to save the orange. Sorry, I do that when nobody's here. Dupe, I dupe, I do the dupey song. It's very exciting. All right, nope, 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 not quite done, but I'm keeping my eye. Yeah, you introduce an element like that orange and changes the rules. The rules have been changed. Are we done? Yes. Pull these out. There we go. We'll see, we'll see. It's hard to say. Maybe all that zooming in was bad too. So let's go ahead. I know it's a bit early. That'll help dry that. And get this out of the way. It looks okay. I mean, it's the tiniest amount of orange, but it looks orange, I suppose, is what I'm going to say. Let's go ahead and get this guy in while we have the kiln cam engaged. Let 
these cool. See what they look like. Oh, they'll be okay, I think. A little underdone, but it'll do okay. Like that's cool. In sixty two. This one wants to go all the way to fourteen thirty. You know, he's committed. How are our, ooh, I love the orange is looking sweet. Still hot, still hot. 1429, oh, you're clicking right on. Now you're clicking. Oh, I know. It's fine. I did not let it dry long enough, and I can see I got some browning. Good, but it doesn't matter because we're throwing. We're not throwing. We're going to be artistically placing foil over there. So I didn't really care. But if you're ever getting results like this, and we'll look at it when it's cool, you, this is one of the things that causes brown, your flux to turn brown, is not sufficient time to cool, dry, dry. So we'll let that cool. Let's have a look at this orange. All right, let's go back to, I think we're gonna go back to the workbench and me situation. I know, check this, these out. Look at that orange, looks really, really nice. Uh, nice and orange. It's the orangiest orange. Um, those look lovely. And so I'm pleased with the color on these. So quite frankly, oh wait, are we done? You know, let's clean this up because we are, that was the fourth thing. We're done with that for now. And I want to wipe this area down because I can see it's getting dusty. So let's take a moment to do a little housekeeping. There we go. Oh, it's because I didn't put that right there. That we're done for now. And this is a sifted. It's not going, remember we have the pristine, never been sullied, and the been around the block kind of flux. And, but, but even before I do that, I do kind of like to scooch it like this. Let's see if you can even see. See all these little black flux? We're going to take a moment and remove them because we don't, and, and we're not gonna be using this flux on the top. We're gonna to switch to the pristine after we put the silver foil on. This is an exciting part of the process, an entire, there we go. That should be good. All right, now we can put that back in. Go. Now I'm going to wipe down this area and we'll move forward. Let us get a paper towel. So we don't want 
We're done sifting for now because guess what? We are ready to start putting those wires on. That's gonna be fun. And we're gonna do all the wires first because you know, it doesn't really matter at this point how many times this bracelet goes in the kiln. Uh, I used to think it would matter a lot. It really doesn't. That huge ass bracelet went in the kiln 30 times and it was fine. Uh, once you hit those oranges, you know, you, the, the time the clock starts ticking as to how many times you can put it in after that before those oranges go brown. But right now we just have some black enamel, some clear enamel. We haven't even, well, maybe we should put, no. No, we're just gonna do, we're quite literally just gonna do the wires, the wires. So I'm going to, but that thing is still cooling. So let's have, this is like our amuse-bouche, our amuse-bouche. I'm gonna go pull it off the trivet so it cools faster and we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Pull it off the trivet. Hmm. Put the trivet on here. And you know, yes, that's fine. Oh, we probably want other glue too, but while that's cooling, we're going to get a layer. I'm pleased with these colors. Again, check out these oranges. It's a little bit underdone, but that's fine. It'll, it'll resolve itself in the next thing. And I'm going to put pale blue over the blue areas and yellow over the yellow areas, which means I need to go grab the yellow. And we're done with the orange. That was pretty much it for the orange. So just grab, mm, not goldenrod. And 24. There we go. So we're just going to use a little basic yellow and do a little wash. It looks pretty clean. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. So, oh, and then our baby blue. Baby blue. Let's start with the easy one. Was oh, this my clean one? Oh, wait, that's see, see, look at these pieces of black. I don't know if you can see, see the flux of black in there because I don't want to use that brush. I mean, I could clean it off. Um, I'm actually going to go put it in the need to be washed pile, which I just created now. That's a thing I just created. See, this one is nice and clean, no flux of black. It's very important to be thinking about those things. So. Yeah, maybe I just need to do two cameras until I get my new setup. Little bit of blue. And zoom in a little bit.
like that. These are so soothing to do. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go put these under the lamp and go get our friend the bracelet. And we'll start with the wires for that. You guys hang out over there. You just have a look. Mm. Bracelet. Interesting. There we go. So we're ready for the bracelet. Yeah, let me show you. Because we didn't let it dry enough, we got this kind of browning right here and right here where it was still really wet. So it's fine. I'm not worried about it at all because we're going to be covering this whole thing with silver foil. That's another reason. But once we put the silver foil on, you know, we got to be a little bit more careful to make this not happen. So, but we've got a nice layer of black on the inside and we're going to start with the inside wires. And let me do the same, you know, for the inside, I bet I can do I can, I, because I'm only going to do the inside, I'm going to do it in a, a grouping of three. So say this is one, and then how am I going to break it into threes? Am I good at threes? And wait, doop, boop, whatever. How's that? Is that? a third, a third, whatever, good enough. <laughs> so let me backtrack a little bit. There we go. We've got our little guy and we have our wires. Remember we have these ready to go and these are the ones that go on the inside. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I am going to be using a better glue. I'm not going to just use clear fire. It takes forever to dry. So we're going to mix up a little bit of the blue stick glue. Actually, let me do that over here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, let me zoom out. Zoom out, perfect. There we go. Auto. And blue stick, where are you at? There you are. Thank you. A little bit of blue stick. And I'm going to get some clean water because it's time. blue stick glue. Got our very thick glue. Give it a little stir. I was just using this yesterday or the day before, so it's still pretty fresh. Make about that much should be fine. Close this up. 
and a little bit of water. Let's see where we are. Are we excited to get some wires on here? I know I am. That should be just fine. Set you over there. Now, the only thing I need to consider is I do have, I know I put a did I put my initials in here somewhere? Hold on. And if I didn't, why not? Oh, I did, I did. It's right here are my initials, right there. And the only thing that I want to think about with that initial is I kind of want my initial to be right directly beneath the red and the, the red and orange area. It's not 100% necessary, but I like the thought of that because that's probably going to be the area that people are like, Ooh, look at this red. And then they'll see my initials or will they, because I certainly couldn't even find them. Maybe they'll, they will literally wear this bracelet for years and never even know my initials are there. So, but that being said, we're going to start with the initials. So let me get an actual pair of tweezers. Now this is where it gets, like getting the things in here, even with these curly cues, it takes a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is let's zoom in a little bit so we can see and scooch over. There we go. Let's see. Tip it up just a little bit so I can see what's going on. That sounds good. How, zo how zoomed can we get in here? Good. And then we've got, so yeah, it doesn't really make any sense that I'm starting in the middle like that, but whatever. I do what I want. So I'm going to start with this circle. First piece. Oh wait, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, honestly, it doesn't really matter. This is. So, so we're going from here to there. Actually, let's put it, let's scooch it to the center. I know. I said, oh, it doesn't matter at all. And then here I am fussing with where it's gonna go. That's fine. And I'm going to put the S and the M in after. And I wish I'd made more. I wish I'd had extra of these. But I bent these wires a long time ago. So I'm just going to do my best. And if I have to make wires at the very end, I'll use all the wires that I need. get this water out of the way and I need to kind of be able to attack it from both sides if you know what I'm saying there we go let's get these in and then scooch it's kind of a matter of setting them in and then scooching they've been sitting on this plastic for a long time so
out. Hold on. Scooch you up. There. Mm. Boop, boop, boop. Get another dot over here. There we go. There we go. I've already kind of gone off the the plan. It just it's just curly cues. So there we go. I'm gonna go on this side. I'll probably do two at a time. How do we feel about that? Okay, we're still. Not gonna lie, I used my jewelry microscope, which was a whole different setup, <laughs> trying to see what's going on in here. Just to see, there we go. Mm -hmm. I actually want a smaller one. Let me grab, let's see if there's a tiny one. Tiny is, I tried to make them all about the same size, which I'm regretting now. Oh, here's a tiny one that I'm gonna snag from way over here. Cause I want that to go right in there. This. Can you still see what's going on? Maybe. Shaky Ray, <laughs> welcome. Thanks for following. And if you're just joining us, we've been having technical difficulties, so I apologize for that. But it is what it is. And get this little guy in. I'm gonna pull you out a little bit. What I like about this glue is it dries fast, but not too fast. So you still have some scooching. I want to have a nice even distribution of curly cues, but that not all facing the same direction. It's an art form, curly cue art form. There we go. And I'm not really worried about using too much glue here because it's all going to be opaque black. If there's a little bit of glue residue underneath here, it will literally make no difference whatsoever because it's all going to be opaque. And it will cover up a myriad of, oh, hold on, I wanna, I guess, I wanna flip that one over. There we go. You wanna go this way. Dot in there, maybe. I'm obviously overthinking it. I have Actually, you know, I think maybe I used my hooked nose tweezers just to get in here. If this looks hard or challenging or slow, imagine, remember that really elaborate bracelet where I did the really intricate design on the interior? It took days to glue those wires down, days, days. And it was good days though. I had, I had a lot of fun. 
is deep work. A few right in there. But you see why I'm not putting the S and M because things are kind of shifting. I'll put that in at the very end. I'm gonna go and do some edging right up here. Just like that. Don't you? You can see our line. That's about where we're going to go because we're going to do one third, one third, two at a time. Gently. Right in there, tuck you in a little bit. There we go. And the good news about the inside is everything kind of, nothing's going to fall off. It kind of wants to fall inward. So as long as you have, this stuff will kind of hold it up together. Um, there we go. Gently tuck you in. Getting all of you. In. Definitely going to be making more. I should have made more. I can tell you right now I'm going to run out of curly cues before I make it all the way around. Go there. Oh, or there. That's good too. We need you can jam up there. Just tucking everybody in. A little bit more. And a dot. And that should be enough for up to this. That is good. I'm going to take a little moment. There's a lot of kind of wet glue. So I am going to wick up a little bit of that glue, trying not to. It's going to be a huge ass tiki torch in the kiln at this point with this amount of glue. Very exciting. Is that, that'll be something to look forward to, but I'm gonna let it, it will dry, but it'll dry faster if I wick some of it up. But it's harder to wick the glue. It's just thicker. And I don't wanna mess up the wires. David, give me some of that moisture, buddy. All right, good enough. I'll just have to do, so we've got there, and then we just have to get it all the way to here. Whoop, so I'm gonna flip it around because I enjoyed working in that direction. And we're going, oh, let me mark the other side so I know where we're stopping. Where's my pencil? And we'll just get this pencil. Let me just flip around and mark right here. It's basically where we're stopping. There we go. So we're going to go all the way to here. We'll get the initials in there and we'll let it dry. So all this for the inside of the bracelets. So now we're going in this direction. It doesn't matter um, that it's backwards, but, or does it? No, it probably doesn't. Just flip it down for the sake 
I've already kind of like picked a few good looking curly cues off different parts. So let's just maybe start with the edge. Oh, here's a big one. Not this one. Let's get you right there. It doesn't really matter where these little tiny circles are because I'm, it's all opaque. I'm not doing any colors in here. So, oh, you do, do, do. There we go. And still live, so that's good. Let's get this big one. Little circle, squeeze you right in there. Tip, tip, it, tip, 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 top. Oh, you tipped up too. There we go, bunny. Clean off my tweezers. My tweezers are just coated in glue. They're starting to kind of stick to the wires. This is, that's good. And yet we do need to let this dry pretty well, pretty well. a nice big one. Set you in and then tuck you just gently. You just have to make sure that things aren't kind of overlapping each other or kind of sticking up because that can happen and you just don't notice it. for a second. You just, just do that. A little bit of this. Oh, actually, you want to live right there. Perfect. That's good. First time chat. Shaky Ray. How long does a full piece take start to finish? Yes. Forever, pretty much forever. Um, no, that's not true. This is not a fast art. And this is this particular piece is really complicated. So you'll see if you continue following me that I'll be working on multiple pieces all at once. I'll try to bring a dozen pieces all the way in. But no, it is not a fast thing and there's no shortcuts and I tend to make it way over complicated because that's kind of my steep my thing is I don't care how many hours it takes and um, do I still let me grab the bracelet so you can see where we're going with this if you're new let me get the let me show you where we're going with this because we're pretty much done that needs to dry anyway so dun 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 where did I put the little bracelet where did I put you? Over there. Well, I'm not sure where the small bracelet is, so I'll just have to show you the giant, the big bracelet. Let me zoom out a little bit while this is drying. We're pretty much at the edge. I'll put one more piece in, but 
we've got what is up with this box I'll find the simple bracelet this is let me scoot you out of the way there's some wet glue that's lovely uh, I've, oh I told you I tip it over but the glue is fine Hold on, let me take one second and just put this one wire back. That is fine. Tipping things over because I can't not do show and tell. Come on, buddy. You live there. You live there. Scooch everything down. There. All good, all good. Let me just move you out of the way for now. You're drying. It was because I was put. I have a pile of glue over here. There we go. Move you out of the way too. But this is kind of where we're going. This is a bigger piece where I was saying, so this is a larger piece. <laughs> for sure. And you can see there is, I don't know if you can see the light is a bit reflective with my work area, but there's an entire design of kind of creatures. Oh, there we are. Creatures. There we go. On the inside. There we go. And then our garden friends on the outside. So this is exactly the same thing as this over here, but this is a little bit simpler. So this took, I'm not gonna lie, hundreds of hours to do. So this one isn't gonna take that many. So there we go. So you do the whole thing. Yes, it's two-sided. I gotta go find, where did I put the, I am gonna have to find that bracelet. because Did I wear it the other day? Um, let me, I'm just going to take one second and look for it because yes, both the inside and the outside are getting enameled. So, oh, oh, I know where it is. I think it's in the drawer. You would think, oh, here it is the bracelet that I was looking for originally that's a little bit closer to what we're doing we're basically this is the bracelet so we're making basically this exact bracelet the new bracelet is a little bit bigger and it's going to be all shade it's a rainbow we're doing orange red yellow pink fuchsia purple blue so it'll be a rainbow all the way around but like right now we're doing the inside with the black enamel like that and eventually We've got the wires over there, which I'm not going to get right now for the outside. So this is where we're going and fits, fits with my watch. So that is, that is that. So yeah, no, it's not for everybody for sure. Um, I find that it is definitely for me. And I would have definitely been a really good 13th century monk in the scriptorium. Right up my alley. Right up my alley. Let's set you over there so you don't end up on the floor. So let me just add a few more on here. Well, let's just, let's just regroup because I still have to put a zoom on in here. The glue is all going to dry. You can see it's already starting to dry over here. Uh, I'll do a little bit of wicking and then we'll get the... the initials in there so oh, let's bring the the wires back here so small wrists no the bangle no um the yeah and I was, i'm worried about selling them because frankly i'm not sure about the sizing i actually went on Herm, hermes you know what's that fashion place hermes h-e-r-m-e-s hermes hermes whatever and they have some bangles and they're really expensive and they're very simple still very nice looking and i stole their sizes i looked at their small medium small they're basically small and medium i think they might have a large but i stole their exact because i'm like 
what's the perfect you know diameter for that and I feel like if they're they've decided it's all right then it's going to be good enough for me not manual sorry I'm on manual for some reason zoom let's just auto there we go come on there we go but yeah I stole their sizing thinking that they probably had some reasoning behind it that made sense and the small fits my wrist really well. So yeah, and I haven't sold a single one of these bracelets just because they seem really, I haven't put them up for sale. Um, I'm just really, they're still proof of concept if you know what I'm saying. So, but I told you I wore that blue bracelet on my trip to Italy, I wore it for a week and we were like climbing up and down the, you know, we went to the top of the tower in Siena. We went to the top of the tower and top of the tower in Florence, the, you know, the church. Um, and I clinked it all over. It didn't break. It was hot. Um, so honestly, it's pretty darn, if I could do it, I feel, I felt really good afterwards, but I still would feel devastated if somebody didn't take proper care. They were like clinking it around and then it broke and then I had to fix it. So do I honestly, that's my problem. I, 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 do, I don't mind selling my art. Um, and I don't actually get that attached to any particular piece, but don't be disrespecting. There we go. I'm doing one more little curly cube right here, and that should be enough. That's a third of the interior. Let me get you. Let's see if we can scoot you right in there. There we go. Um, what is what is this? I'm going to move you out and get a tiny curly cube. Do we have a tiny curly cube? I bet we've got one over here at this end. Let's see if we can squeeze you right in there. There we go. Seems good. Tight. One of these goes right there. Nice. Now let me just do a tiny amount of wicking of some of this glue and then we'll get that. And so you can see how we got one third of the wires in place. So I wonder if I can just, I'm going to regret this. Will I pull up the wires? No. Yeah, got a lot of it. That'll probably be good. And let's flip it around and get my S, my little S, and my little M in there. Oop, where'd you go? I almost dropped it. Oh, cool. There we go. Let's get the M in place and then we'll fuss with them. Got a lot of glue on my tweezers. Oh, I don't think I have any glue on there. There we go. Scooch that S over. All right. Let me, the S and the M have, they're a little too friendly.
There we go. There we go. That's good. All right. You know what? Scoot. Let me dare I scoot you. Oh, sorry. You're not even in the camera thing. Let's see. Scoot you just a hair down. And it's funny, it seems like it's super obvious, but I had trouble finding it. Once it all fires in, it won't, you won't even notice that I put my initials there. Hold on, I see a piece of wire sticking out. You need to get, I'll pull you off entirely and trim you because you're too big. You know what? I think you're just too big in general. Let's grab a smaller one, a regular size one. There we go. That'll be fine. Now, oh my God, I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna mess with that S a little bit. I'm gonna pull you off and put you back. Ugh. There we go. Perfect. Done. Well, one third done. So this is great. It's going to take a little bit of time to dry and we're not going to do anything on the top just yet because I don't want to. So <laughs> we'll do, we got silver foil for that. And we're gonna let this dry and we will do a little bit of our earrings in the mean. We'll do our easy peasy earrings. That's what they're called. Easy peasy earrings. We'll zoom in there and do those next. I'm gonna go put this under the heat lamp. There we go, one o'clock. Two. Oh, oof. there you go. You just hang out there, buddies. Now that glue is probably going to take a little longer to dry because I used a lot of it. So in the meantime, my goal, honestly, for today, now that I have, I see what time it is, is if we can get the wires on the interior done or at least mostly done. That's probably where we're going to end up today so but i promise if you so desire we will do these this you know i won't i won't forge ahead maybe we'll see we'll see but let's do these little sweet little guys we've got our two coats of color our orange came out really pretty so i'm pleased we're just going to throw some enamel color on those while we are waiting for let me get the glue out of the way. We're just using two colors at this point because we've got our colors all set in here. And so this will just take a moment. Let me get the clean water over here. Here we go. So yellow over the green and the orange is my plan. Just, oh. Hmm. Sorry, everybody. Come on. A little bit of that. There's that. I got this big drop of water that wants to, oh, there it is, there it goes. But that was fine. There we go. And 
and then yellow over here. Oops. A little bit of water will be good. And make sure we're still doing our thing. Yes, but we will become, I will be streaming again on Thursday, which we will at that point, Thursday will be about getting the wires and the foil on the outside. And will we get to color? I don't know. It is slower doing things. It's weird because it's slower. It's like when you take a, a, a when Waze takes you away, that takes more miles, but it gets you there faster. <laughs> Things take longer doing them in front of the camera because they tend to fuss more. But on the other hand, I get just as much done as I normally do in my studio because I'm not fooling around. So, I mean, I don't do a ton of fooling around, but I do enough fooling around that it bothers me. That's why I started doing this, so I couldn't fool around. I just had to do this. So that is, that's the plan. And tomorrow is Wednesday. A little bit of blue, a little bit of blue. Oh, I see a dot that I need to remove. But I definitely, um, you know, I've been working in my, in my evening, I've been doing all the blender tutorials because I'm trying to get better with my 3D modeling skills. And I really want to do a hinged bracelet, uh, but I'm having, well, I also want to make it, I'm also kind of working on some rings and stuff, but um, also I'm still just trying to figure out blender, but Yeah, a hinge bracelet, but I just can't quite wrap my head around how I got the hinge. I mean, I, 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 I'm feeling good about the hinge part. It's the clasp, the how, it, you know, like I want to do kind of a click in clasp, but it needs to be very secure. And I'm not quite sure. I haven't quite worked out how it would work with a cast piece or if I, you know, obviously I probably would maybe it's be a, a fabricated thing after I've done the casting, but then is it going to go into the kiln 30 times and will that soften this, the, the sterling silver? Will that ruin, like, will it stop being a good, you know, clicky clasp if it's been in the kiln 30 times? Just things like that. And... So many things. There we go. Nice. So let's go ahead and do a quick little wicking of these and we'll see where we are. I, there's no way that that glue is dry. So we'll just wick some of this moisture up. There we go. We're going to go put these under the lamp to dry and then we'll fire them in a moment and in the meantime we'll probably go ahead and start with these little swirly earrings there we go although and they're not gold i was going to say oh i should make them match the bracelet but no they're not going to match the bracelet they're just going to be 
uh, green and blue. <laughs> so that is all. Let's see. No, nowhere near dry. One and two. And then, hold on. Let's bring the color box over for these curly cues because I, uh, let's remember, let me zoom out a little bit. Zoom. Auto. There we go. So. Clasp. Am I saying class? Clasp. I'm not enunciating properly. Um, I do my best. So remember all these colors that we're going to do. Let's look at our drawing of the earring. Hold on. All right. We're not doing this one. That's for later. What did I decide with? Oh, yeah. They're just going to be real simple. Green to blue. The same color as these two earrings that we've just done. So that, that is what we're going to do. And we've got all our colors. I'm going to bring them out. I might grab a slightly darker green and a slightly darker blue just for fun because we've got those. And yeah, because that glue, you know, we're not going to get all those wires on now that I'm re re realizing how long it's going to take that glue to dry. We got a little time. So, and if you, if you got moisture in there, I mean, I don't mind a little bit of glue residue because it's opaque, but if there's moisture in the glue on the thing, what's going to happen is when it, when it expands because it's heating up and evaporating, it'll push all, you know, you get this little eruption of the wires. The wires will kind of come up or they'll go like this and kind of some of them will tumble and it's just not great. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, did you, did I miss something? I'm sorry. Did I miss a comment? I, oh, is, oh, sorry. I missed a couple of comments. Sorry. I it's a little tiny window and if it scrolls too fast, I miss it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Is there a reason you prefer a lamp over the top of the kiln? Oh my God. Yes. And I'll tell you why in a second. Let me see the other comment. Um, uh, just an idea on the, oh, clasp. You could make the clasp capped so they go onto the end of the bracelet and they would not to be clasp. Make the clasp capped. Oh, oh, so I think I know what you mean. I'll have to think on it. Uh, hold on, let me stop scrolling. Oh, this interface is wonderful. There we go. So, yes, don't just... Just try not to. I mean, I guess if you're in your own studio, you get to do whatever you want. But I think it's poor practice to dry things on top of the kiln. Kind of two reasons. And then I've got a cautionary tale. The first reason is my kiln, anyway, has a lot of holes on the top. And any enamel that is jostled off is going to fall straight through into the center of the kiln. That's not great. It can be dirty up there. And then also when you're, at least with this kiln, when you're opening and closing the door, everything's getting jostled a little bit. Do you really want to maybe run the risk of having it tip over or, you know, drop some enamel into the kiln? And then the cautionary tale is I used to do that. I used, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to dry on top of the kiln. That piece I'm looking at the, on the poster, you can't see it. Um, it was the piece, it was called Shaka when the walls fell. Uh, it's, it was this piece is like this big, and it was this entire scene of a castle and a siege. It's on my website. Um, I, I was, you know, I was, it's the time, it was one of the tiniest things I'd ever done at that point with like this, all this stuff. And I spent like four hours gluing all the wires in place. I didn't have my microscope back then, and it was winter. And I shuffled up to the kiln to put it on top of the kiln. And just as I was about to drop it on top of the kiln ever so carefully, a little spark of static electricity went zoop. And my hand went like this. And the thing went all the way down onto the floor. And all of the wires fell off onto the floor. 
that's actually why I don't put things on top of the kiln. So, and I know you've probably heard that story if you've taken any of my classes, but ever since that day, I put things safely under a heat lamp and I also try not to shuffle as much. So, boom, that is the answer. So, anyway, so it is one, oh my gosh, it's one o'clock. So let us, while that is drying, pull another, we've got, let's pull the colors that we have pulled so far, just so you can see where we are at. We've got these real light kind of sea foaming. There's my forget me not. These are the colors. I want to pull in a little bit more vividness. Maybe not. Oh, maybe. All right, fine. How about this one? This will be good. This ultramarine, a little darker. And then the same thing goes L47, a little darker. For that, I think that will be good just to give it a little bit more pop a little bit more vavoom so with these little curly cues but that also means I need to go get those two colors which are L65 ultramarine medium and L47 dark yellow green I bet I already have them washed too so I'm gonna go grab those colors and we will get started on these two little guys Make sure that. Oh, and my new laptop has a 16 inch monitor, so I'll be able to see more. I'll be able to read the comments maybe. So that will be good. I cannot wait for my, L what was, did I say it was L65? I think so. 65, yeah. And what was the green? How about, was it, was it L47? Yes, L47, boom, got it. There we go, boop. Oh, have a good day, Drew. Thanks for bearing with us. And I'll probably be back on Thursday, the usual time. All right, we don't need that. Was this, I should double check, 65, yes. We're gonna do a quick little mini wash, see what's going on. Mm, that's fine. I was just using this color, so it's pretty fresh. There we go. There's our blue, extra dark, and then our darker green. Looking good too. There we go. There we go. So, and I've already, yeah, we're basically gonna go green to blue, and the green's gonna be on the inside. So when you look at the pair, they kind of have the green on this side and this side going to the blue. That's going to be the plan. Let me get these wires out of the way. And there we go. Let's, oh, I do want my microscope for this. I need to make sure I get it into all these little crevasses. Let's bring Mr. Microscope over. Here we are. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see what I'm looking at. I'm looking right here, so that's fine. And I'm gonna move these out of the way because I don't really need, I know it's fun to see the colors. So the colors are really for you guys right now. There we go. Let me make sure everything all the wires are pressed down nothing's sticking up it's looking good there we go that's good and maybe we'll zoom in a little bit is that good there we go that's not bad so 
We'll start with the light colors. Oh, I don't need N24. I wanted this one. If and when you have a moment, could you please show us how you organize and store your enamels, including, oh gosh, I have an entire, in fact, I would need to spend like a day kind of rearranging it. I've got, I'm an enamel hoarder, not gonna lie. Um, I've got a lot of enamels here in my studio and a lot of enamels at home <laughs> as well. Uh, generally, I, I've got those great little drawers um, yeah, I'll talk about it. You know, I'll have to, maybe I'll do a video about it on Vimeo. Um, maybe I'll do a video. Um, but basically I keep them. I don't store, do not store them in plastic baggies. They may come in plastic baggies, get them out of the plastic baggies, uh, into ideally a glass container. Uh, but a good plastic container would be just fine. And basically I have, um, here, let me, I know it's selfie only cam. There we go. This down here, I don't know if you can see these drawers. These are where I keep um, a lot of my ready to go. Like these, these are not washed, but a lot of them are sifted. Like these are the warm greens right here. And they're kind of small, but to be honest, I've actually broken out because I have got an entire, so these and these are all, so I have them right here when I need them. And then I have also overflow straight over there. And then I've got larger sizes of, you know, I've got like four ounce, eight ounce containers over in the cabinet. And then I've got an enormous amount at home. All, I arrange them by color. So honestly, by color that I think, like I, I don't think about numbers. I just, have them. These are warm greens, cool greens, warm blues, cool blues. You know, um, I finally broke things out and now, now have an orange section because I used to do yellow and red, but I also have a pink section. So I, I do that and that's pretty much it. So, but just don't store them in plastic baggies. They tend to break, they leak. It's not a great situation. So that is it. So let's go back to what we are doing. Actually, let me go look and see how our glue is coming, because that might be a good segue. I'm going to go back to Workbench and Me. Seemed like a good thing. Yeah, I feel like we, you know, we have, I don't want to rock the boat and freeze again. So let's see. Hmm. Do we? No, we're going to give it just a little bit more time. Yeah, so it, we'll probably just get this one fired, but it needs, I'm going to say it's almost there, five minutes tops. So let me get a little bit more wah. But you know what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and put this one pair of earrings in the kiln. So I'm putting something in the kiln just... Bear with me for one moment. There we go, good, perfect. There we go. All right, I officially have something in the kiln, so don't let me forget. Especially since we don't want to overfire that tiny, tiny dot of orange, so. That is good. I used to keep my lump separated, but that meant for years I never used my lump. So I've started incorporating my lump in with my regular, I keep my unleaded enamel segregated from everything else, mostly because I don't have that many. I, you know, I, I really only use them at the very beginning and when I have to teach it, like the craft center, which I don't really do anymore. So I don't have a ton of unleaded enamels but I do have a lot, a lot of enamels because it is definitely, it is the love of my life. So, alrighty, and I'm not gonna get started. I'm just going to 1327, we're good. We are good. 
but I like to take, yeah, you should keep your enamels dry, <laughs> out of direct sunlight, it's probably good, but dry certainly is your best thing. And obviously, not odd, maybe it's not obvious, but the whole reason that, you know, lump enamels won't deteriorate as fast as the fine, finely ground enamels, just because the moisture and the bacteria and the whatever can't get in there. So it's better. All right, it's 1300. I'm going to stroll over there because remember, I don't want to overfire that orange. And I'm not going to go, we will we'll go to the kiln cam. I'm going to do it. Kiln cam. Kiln cam. All right, 1423. Let's pull it out. Oh, we're still a little under. You know what? Put it back in. A little too under. But I'm not going to leave it in too much longer. But I am going to grab my glasses so I can see what is going on in the kiln. All right, 1372. That's looking better. I forgot that yellow is a little hard, blah, blah, blah. 1397. There we are, there we are, there we are. Let's pull it out now. There we go. Nice. Let's get it off the trivet. There we go. It's hard. We'll let that cool. And we're almost ready to fire the bracelet, but we are not quite there yet. So let's go back to Workbench and Me. Workbench and Me. That's what they're labeled. So, yeah, let's just do these little earrings. We got time. So I was saying I'm going to start with the very light. Like this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I don't know if it's, there you go. Scooch over and we'll put the colors up here. So you can see what's going. And I need a little water in there. There we go, a little drop of water. And I'm gonna work on both of them at the same time, just so they end up matching. They should be mirror images of each other. There we go. But we'll start green and green. little dots on the inside. So we're doing like the lightest shade of the green on the inside of the curly cues. That's good. And then we'll go to our lightest blue. Here it is. And we're doing the lightest colors first. We'll do the polka dots last.
just the lightest. And we'll do the medium. This is N37 chartreuse chrome. Pour some of that water off. There we go. Make sure we can see what's going on. Over here, honestly, good. Oops. Get this. 546 blue, old Thompson. Really pretty. It's funny, this, this is the lump that we ground up last week. It's actually a little bit lighter than the, the other batch. So, every batch is a little bit different. But I love the shade, it's perfect. So I'm pleased in that aspect. I can bring it a little bit more here. And I bet by the time we have this color on this pair of earrings, we will be ready to fire the bracelet uh, prepare yourself for some Tiki Torch action. I'm not going to watch the Tiki Torch, but yeah, I will see if I can arrange for the camera to capture that. Let's get some over here. Oh, hold on. I see stuff. Oh, are there still earrings in the kiln? No. <laughs> Thankfully, no. I pulled them out, but we should look at them. We'll, we'll look at them in a second. Let me get this color on. But good call. No, I've already overfired that bracelet one time when I was rebooting after I got frozen out of Twitch. And a little bit of that. And I'm going, I'm just keeping things a little bit lighter because remember, you can always go darker in the next one. The next, there we go, there's our blue, a little bit more there. Let's go to our green and 42 green. I like these colors. They tend to kind of just almost pretty much just blend, especially since they've got a lot of water on here. They're pretty much just kind of blending themselves, helping me out a little bit. Just like that. Don't mind that. A little bit over here. I'm the worst. I probably am the only person that com you know consistently forgets things in the calm. A 
little bit. That is a little bit darker than I wanted, but that's fine. For now, let's get our forget me not blue. A tiny amount. We don't have very much left, but that hopefully should be enough to get us just through. Let's blend that. Like what earrings? <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna be an old person. Um, that does not have, I'll be like, what? Oh, my goal is to be a friendly old person so people wanna help me out. Adorable, is, I'm gonna be an adorable old person. Or maybe I'm already halfway there. There we go, that's good. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of wicking before I do my darkest color just because I don't want the dark to get sucked into the areas. So let me go grab those earrings. Let's just go see. Double check there's nothing in the kiln. Oh, nothing's in the kiln. But we have these out of the kiln. So let's have a quick look at how they came out. We still have one more coat, I think. So you can see these came out real nice. One more coat will do. We'll set those aside. And then we've got these little dew dewy drop earrings. Very pretty. One more coat as well, because you can see we still have the wires sticking out like that. So. One more coat should do the trick for these. So that is that is that. So let's just get the dark. Let's start with the dark green. Where did you go? L47. Are you hiding? Oh, you are. You're just out of my vision right there. So we've got the dark green. So we're just going to Obviously, I worked too much, but that's all right. Put a little bit more, um, you know, put a little bit back in this drop. There we go. Just like that. Very good. I'll go over here. More water. Let's get put this drop right there. Boop. Perfect. There we go. How does everyone feel about, well, sorry, I know I don't have no idea how many people are watching. Um, I was thinking of starting a Discord channel for this where people could ask questions. And oh, I see a whole lot of thing. Bye. Hold on, I see a story. Susan, first enameling class I ever took, there were two of us. Tudor put something in the kiln and left the room to go get something. After about five minutes, we looked at each other and said, should we take that out a couple minutes more and took took the overcooked piece out of the kiln. The tutor returned 20 minutes later in a panic having gotten, yeah, no, I've been there. 
um, she forgot she was teaching a class. <laughs> oh, I've done that. I've done that. Um, you did, you made the right call. You made the right call, especially if the, I mean, my kiln has a, a setting. It's not going to go over, you know, you know, it's set for 1430 right now, Fahrenheit, 776 Celsius, and it's going to crest up to about 1450 and kind of go up and down, but it's not going to go above that. So I don't have to worry about the silver melting. It could be in there for an hour. And to be honest, I've left something in the kiln for like 45 minutes one time. And you know what? It was just fine. It was blues and greens. So, um, but if it's sense, if it's a, you know, if it's, you could blow out your pink. So your reds will turn brown. So, but you definitely made the right call. Good for you. I mean, taking initiative, especially if it was like your first class and you didn't really know what to do. You definitely made the right call. Um, but if you have a kiln, especially if you have a kiln that doesn't have a temperature controller on it, where you do, you, it could get hot enough to melt the silver, or if you're enameling on copper, that certainly will be happy to melt. Or that, well, it'll, you know, you'll get that eutectic reaction where the silver wires melt into the copper, which is never fun. Let me just get my hand out of the way. I'm going to get this coat on and then we'll fire that thing. But, you know, to be honest, if you've never overfired something wildly like that, you never, you know, every, it's kind of a rite of passage, I'm sure. Just like dropping something on the floor. There we go. Oh, but anyway, whatever, uh, I was thinking of uh, doing a Discord. Uh, if you know what that is and you're interested, let me know if you think it's a good idea. It is one more thing. Just not that I'm trying to go away from Facebook slash Instagram, but I feel that they're getting a little bit lonely. Um, and, you know, the all the young people. Hello, fellow children. How are you? So... Yes, so the Discord would literally be just about telling you about what's happening on the Twitch, talking about the Twitch, whatever the Twitch. But yeah, maybe just one more thing for me to forget to check. Oh yeah, I'm glad I picked this particular shade. I really like this darker shade of blue. So, and I think I want to do a little green right there. Get the green. Boop, boop, boop. Where'd you go, little green? No, that's not you. Oh, it's right there. There's like a spot to the left that's completely blocked by the camera and I just can't see anything that's sitting there. Get a little bit of this dark green into this crevasse right here. And this little one right here. There we go. So, there's that. Let me get the blue over here. We're definitely, yeah, these little curly cues take a little bit of time. Just wait till we get to that bracelet. Just you wait. this. There. 
just that a little dollop right there of blending. There we go. Now we're just going to, we got a couple polka dots to fill in and we'll start with these. Definitely one of these. Oh, hold on, I see a blue area that I forgot. Let's just... Big blob. Can I can I squeeze this giant blob? There we go. See, we'll pull that little thing out. That's good. Capillary action is your friend. Let's get this little bit of blue right out of there. There we go. Now let's do a little green. To me. There we go. A green dot here. That one. And two. Green dot there. Green dot. A little water. Definitely need to scooch these dots a bit. Doop doop. Now let's get our very light blue over here. Let's put you light blue. Oh, we need a dot over there. We'll do a dark. Blue here. Okay, dark blue over here. And then one tiny dot of chartreuse chrome right over here. Doop. Doop. Now before I move along. I want to get a little pick and make sure that and also I see a tiny little area where I want to put where what no, no. did you want to be green? Maybe. There we go. Let's get a tiny little pick. This will do. And I'm just going to make sure these little, they're all the way down. They're not sitting on top of the wires. I don't want an air bubble in there. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, you guys are good. You can out of the way. There we go. There. Good morning from Lake Constance. Ah! Good morning, good morning. Well, this is the, um, we're getting towards the end here, but good morning. It's afternoon here. So these I'm gonna go put under the lamp to dry and let's fire the bracelet. Let's see what happens with the, the first wires on the bracelet. So I'll keep your fingers crossed. I'm gonna go over to the kiln cam, switching over now. Kiln cam, there we go. And I'll meet you over there. Now, oh, I need a trivet of some variety for these. Trivet and trivet. All right, so here, let's see, can we see? Here they are. Let me 
I'm going to zoom in before I even get there it's because you'll want to see if it catches fire. You know, if there's going to be some drama, mine as well. I'm not going to get any closer with the actual thing because I don't want to hit. That should be good. There we go. We're ready. Oops, sorry, I have to adjust. There we go. Are we ready? Let's make sure we feel good. Yes. All right. There we go. And we're just going to, let's see if we can see what's going to happen. Lower a little bit. There we go. All righty. Remember, this is a big piece. It's a big piece of silver. It's going to take a little extra time to, oh, there it is. <laughs> don't open the door when things are on fire in the kiln. You don't want to give it any oxygen. You're just going to, there we go. There we go. See a little tiki torch. So don't open the door. Don't freak out. I didn't even know things caught on fire in the kiln sometimes until I got the window. That was a big surprise for me but yeah so but you'd also it's not going to be hard to tell because it's black enamel but you also it's it looks really dark and crusty but it has to completely burn away and there's a lot of glue in there so it's going to take a little extra time and again I'm not so worried but when we get to the the top it's going to be a, it's going to matter a lot that the glue is completely burnt away so there we have it yeah so a little extra time oops as i trip over other things and that's exciting. I'm going to go ahead and I got to back up the camera so I don't knock the camera when I go to pull it out. So we'll just, I think you got the idea of what was going on there. So there we go. 1422. Yeah, when it gets up to 1430, I'm going to give it a little extra time. A little looky-loo. The fire won't damage as long as you don't, you know, as long as it's not on fire f for a long time. Like I wouldn't put a kindling in there or anything. But we also remember we have this little top spigot in the kiln, which is also making sure there's not a lot of oxygen coming in. So there we go. I'm going to say that's looking good. Let's try. Let's do it. There we go. All right, we're going to let these need to do a little drying. So that was, that was some excitement. We're going to let that cool. We're not going to fuss with it. And let's go back to workbench and me, workbench and me. So yeah, we're pretty much coming up to the end, but I definitely want to let it cool down and show you what what it looks like because we're pretty at a we're at a good stopping point i know we still have technically 15 more minutes to go but so you know what we can do while that is cooling down we're just going to get our final coat on these little guys we have one more coat and i'm tempted to do a little clear just so it's easier which means i need to do a little washing so it'll take one second get your head right about it Gonna, it'll be worth it, I promise. Let me zoom out just a little bit because we're gonna do some N4. N4, Nino Mia N4 on the top of these. Cause you know what? There's that finishing flux. What is it? Six, 697, 676 finishing flux, which is supposedly like the, the, the match set for the Sawyer number three. I don't like it. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I think it's a little too, it's, I think it's too reactive to silver, 
So that's why we're going to use N3, N4. N3, N4 are the same thing, but let's just make sure I have some sifted. Oh, good Lord. Come on, buddy. N4. And four. Oh, are you hanging out over here? Doot, 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 doot. No, well, I can't find it. You know what? There we are. We'll just do, we'll just do layers of, we're going to go back to the original thing because I don't see it. I feel like I've spent too much time looking for things today. So we're just going to do yellow over this color, pale blue over this color. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. So we'll do that, but we'd not, we don't need any of these dark colors. We're going to just use the light colors, but yeah, let's see our, our yellow is still looking yellow. That's good. I mean, our orange, very pretty. So we'll start with our pale yellow. Where did you go? Here you are. We'll start with Sorry, get my hand out of the way. Just like that. Why is there a lot of water on there? This will be the last coat for these earrings and then we're ready to grind and polish. There we go. Yes, there's nothing in the kiln. You guys are making me a little. Oh, hold on. This, scoot you over. I'm just going to go pull the bracelet off the trivet and onto the metal plate to cool down a little faster. So. There we go. And you know, well, we'll see if I'm going to fire that before. Right, so let me just get my baby blue. I'm just gonna put a layer of blue. Let's see if I have enough blue. Right over here. going a little thick because I want this to definitely be the last layer. There we go. Just fine. Scoot you over. Get one for you. A little water.
Oops, oopity. There we go. Let me just get these little edges. And then we will have a little looky loo at our friend the bracelet. Let's see if I can. wick a little bit. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of water. Just, I'll have just enough of this glue to finish. There we go. Look how much I have left. Not very much at all. Let me just see if I can consolidate that into one usable. Will I have enough? Hold on. I got some over here too. Wick a little bit. And oh no, we can wick that little guy. Let me just get this last little bit. See a hair in there. A little bit. That's good. <laughs> I am using the last dregs of this blue. There we go. Put you right there. Lovely. So these are done. I'm going to go put these under the, well, just set them aside for now because let's go snag our bracelet and see what is, what with that. Let me zoom out. Zoom. Boop. boop. That's fine. Let me get this out of the way. Zoom up a little bit. See the mess that we have. Is it cool? Yes. All right, so here is, let me get that out of the way. Let me put my glasses on. Put these right here. So we have these wires are, oh, yeah, they're this way. Glues my SM came out pretty good. Let's see if you can see it looks good. And what I'm going to do before I continue along is I'm going to look at it like this and see if anything's really sticking up. See this little guy right here sticking up? Because now we might as well take a moment before we get too far along and either trim things like this wire sticking up, tuck them in, you know, because there's a lot of wires and it's easier to kind of do it as you go. And if he falls off, you know, you can re-glue them. It's fine, like this little guy needs to kind of get jammed in a little bit. He's probably going to fall off, but that's fine. And basically just making sure I'm pressing down and I'm just feeling. I'm using my fingers to see if, and see how this piece is sticking out. It's just going to, I can either cut it or I can just bend it and tuck it in. There we go. And nothing's like akimbo. It all looks 
pretty good. So yeah, so that is one third of the wires on the interior of the bracelet with the first coat. And what I'm gonna do is um, continue along. And yeah, it gets a little nerve wracking once you start going up like this, you're like, oh my God, are these wires gonna fall off? Let's hope not, let's hope not. So that, that is everything. Yeah, so interior, boop, boop. And then we're gonna get our silver and gold foils on the exterior and we'll get our wires on the exterior and that will all be good. But you can see it's looking good. So that pretty much, I guess I'm just gonna go straight. Let me go to the selfie only cam. There we go. Hey, so we got the bracelet. Not as much done as I was hoping. I was really hoping to, honestly, I can't believe I was thinking I would even get to the silver foil, but we're making good progress. So I can see right now there's a wire sticking out that I'm gonna fuss with afterwards. So thank you so much for joining me and you know, dealing with our technical issues that are ongoing that I'm still trying to figure out. And I hope you'll join me for the next installment where we continue along with this fun and challenging enamel bracelet. So again, thank you everybody. And um, yeah, and last thing, don't forget to check out enamelartjam.com if you are interested in participating in the enamelartjam.com the 2003, wait, whatever, 2023 exhibit. So have a great day, everybody, and uh, take care.